Everyone chill. You're going to be fine. We're not here for your money. We're here for the bank's money or whatever. Your money is federally insured. You ever see Heat? It's quite a film. If you've never seen it, I would recommend it. If you thought Robert De Niro's best role was as Jack in Meet the Parents, you got another thing coming. He's done a couple of films. Dirty Grandpa, that's another one that's got to be in the rotation. Plus two, my money is federally insured. It's even insured uh, for more than they say it is, at least if you deposit it at Silicon Valley Bank. <laughs> Remember that? Earlier this year, it's been a long year. Silicon Bank, we call that a Brazilian butt lift. Should I get a BBL? What is it, anyway? Do they take the fat from like your head and put it on your butt? Or what? How does it work? They make the ass huge. <laughs> I don't know why you said it like that. Chibli, you would know. I'm serious. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure you know. They take like concrete and Orbeez. <laughs> oh man, I'm so glad I have a kid so I know what Orbeez are. It's the single most dangerous plastic surgery out there. No, come on. Lobotomy's got to be more dangerous than a Brazilian butt lift. Is it more dangerous if you get it in Brazil, or is it less dangerous if you get it in Brazil? A Brazilian butt lift is a surgery where a doctor transfers fat from your belly, hips, lower back, or thighs to your buttocks. The result is more of an hourglass-shaped figure with larger buttocks. Why is it... it... Who wrote that, man? Why is it so, like, Ed Begley jr It just doesn't sound... It, well, I said it like Forrest Gump, but... It, I don't know, it just doesn't sound right, man. It has like a 1% death rate? How? Those doctors are slacking, man. They're just, they're not doing open heart surgery. They're taking fat from your hips and putting it on your butt. How, do, how can it have a 1% death rate? It looks brutal. Maybe you could react to a video. Listen, <laughs> I appreciate the, the thought. I don't think I'm gonna be reacting to any Brazilian butt lift videos today. Or it's really surgeries of any kind, unless they finally have that video from when they did surgery on a grape. They did what? <laughs> it's, it's a pretty silly day for a Tuesday, man. No disrespect, but I'm not dying to something with a 1% death rate. Okay, DL Guigo, where were you on January 6th, 2021? You're, you're bringing in some rhetoric that I find a little bit controversial here, okay? Get his ass. <laughs> You will never buy this. La, 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 la. Can I say something without people getting upset? It has nothing to do with the Brazilian butt lift, by the way. We gotta... When we talk about regrettable 2000s comedies, you have to leave Borat out of it. Even Borat 2 is, like, not even close to as good as the original. But Borat 2 is kind of funny to watch one time. It's got its moments. Whenever people are, like... They make fun of the 2000s by wondering like why people were so obsessed with Borat. It's really funny, man. It's a funny movie. Borat 2 is better. You've lost your mind. You need to get a Brazilian brain lift. <laughs> As I started saying it, my brain was like, where's this joke gonna end? And then I was laughing because I was so happy it got there. <laughs> Oh, I was proud of myself for that one. Yoga MMA! Oh, everyone's got opinions. I do think that... I think Borat 1 is a comedy classic and Borat 2 is, is fine. I'm just dying at the idea. I, the idea of what? It would be so funny. Wait, if I got a Brazilian butt lift? There is a... There's an internal conflict that I don't think... It, like, it, it's one of those things where, like, if you explained it to... Um, like a caveman, they would just kill themselves. They would be like, if this is where the world is going, I don't want any part of it. But like, sometimes people will say like, you should do this, it would be so funny. But you don't realize like, this part of my life in the box is like 15% of my week. <laughs> and then 85% of my week, I'm just like a normal guy who does things and the thoughts stay in my head. Like you should do it for the bit. You got me all wrong, man. You got me confused with Jerma. Jerma might do the Brazilian butt lift for the bit. I'm like, I'm still got to be like ashamed of this. Like, I'm embarrassed to tell people my damn job. 
you, you would not catch my ass as a 12 year old in middle school being like, I want to play video games for a living. I get this shit kicked out of me. Are you, that's what the culture was like back then, okay? So that's the, that's the environment I grew up in. That's the damn Le Creuset stock pot that I simmered in. There's no change in the flavor. The marrow's already out of the bones. So I am not getting a Brazilian butt lift for the meme, okay? Now, if I was going to get like a TV show or something like that, I think it'd be stupid to not try. I mean, it could really amp up my personal brand, I think. Think about the Instagram account arc. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Why would cavemen be against BBL? I think if they heard me talk, they would kill me with a spear in under two minutes. They would think that I was a god for 30 seconds, and then they would tolerate me for 60 seconds, and then they would look at each other and go like, we're killing this motherfucker. <laughs> they would, they would just crush me. I think I can only exist right now. I don't think I can exist in the future. I don't know what the future is going to be like, but I think that people will be like, he's cringe, let's kill him. And if you took me back to the past, they would definitely be like, what the fuck is this guy talking about? Let's kill him. I was, I made a, a, a little reference to it earlier, but last night while we were eating dinner, Kate and I watched that Defunct Land video that was like, um, the history of Coney Island. I was laughing my ass off that at one of the Coney Island amusement parks, they bought an elephant that killed a guy to be like, hey, this elephant's like too badass. Like he's got to come see the elephant that murdered a dude. And then the elephant killed another guy. And they were like, the newspaper article in like 1896 pulled no punches. The, the literally the body of the article was like, Trixie is a bad elephant. She needs to die. They decided to put Topsy down by hanging her from the neck in front of a paying audience. This caused the American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals to step in. The ASPCA refused to allow Thompson and Dundee to charge admission, and they took issue with the plan to hang Topsy from the neck on the grounds of cruelty. Alternatives were discussed. What if they could poison Topsy with cyanide or electrocute her? or perhaps choke her to death with a mechanical winch. The American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals said that all three would be perfect. Topsy was poisoned, electrocuted, and choked on January 4th, 1903. The ASPCA said that they had, quote, never seen a more humane manner of causing death, which unfortunately was probably true at the time. There was no, here's the facts, draw your own conclusions. The newspaper was like, we have to kill this elephant. And then, they killed it by poisoning it, hanging it, and electrocuting it to death at the same time. <laughs> they really said, fuck that elephant, bro. What were they doing in the 1900s, the late 1800s? People were just doing stuff, man. They executed the elephant three times simultaneously it's just so insane to think about like what were they doing man did it survive no it fucking died it was like with nary a groan nor a trumpet the malevolent elephant trixie has been put to rest i love you light goobert text sent from jeff bezos I love you alive, girl. I can't believe we've never thought of this bit before. It's, it's right in my wheelhouse. Alive, girl, I love you. Yes, I do. <laughs> That's Jeff Mangum. Yes, I know. It's a reference to, he made a text that said, I love you, alive, girl. And then Jeff Mangum, of course, King of Carrot Flowers Part 2, says, I love you, Jesus Christ. We combine them, and then it's a, it's a Mangum Bezos double feature. Oh, I get it now? It's just, like, I'm not trying to be, like, a complete piece of garbage. But when you understand both parts of the joke, but you can't put it together, it does make me question your commitment to Sparkle Motion. The lineup for Brazilian brain lifts starts over there. <laughs> I can't stand to fly I'm not that naive 
Are we going to Boston or to Washington, D.C.? I'm only a man on a plane filled with these. Who killed my wife or was it really me? Okay, okay, I'm done.